just tell me when you're ready. I'm ready whenever you okay. are. Okay. So, some important ground rules for you and your golf swing is, is how you generate power. It, it's not through width. And, and I'll, I'll start with the what not to do part, which is, you know, we don't want to get lateral. We really don't want to get wide. And in particular, this lead arm from your body, you don't want to feel like it's, it's separating or lifting from your pivot because that tends to get you to work on a much different release style. And that's one that in particular, you're, you're, the higher your hands get, the more you have to work in a, a sideways or a linear fashion in your downstream. That's not good for us. We're best when you can check your posture by simply knowing, hey, this, this is an ideal posture when your fingertips touch the top of your kneecap. And from that alignment position, you're able to simply pivot. And, and the way I, I like you to practice this is just standing out of posture with your hands at about your, your navel, right at your belly button height, and your club head's right about at your buttons, right at your sternum here. And this really mimics how the club looks when we're in our golf posture, just out of it. And as you pivot, the arms are just seeking this position across. The hand path didn't get wider. The club head didn't grow farther away. If, if I had illustrated it by putting some fishing wire, fishing line around the club head here, and I tied it tightly against the button on my shirt, well, it wouldn't pull away from me. It wouldn't pull as I went in that direction. It would stay the same as I turned. No, no slack, no pressure, just the same. And that's what's going to get your arms to swing around you correctly in the backswing. Because when you get into the, the how not, and I watch you get wide, and the hand path stretch, and the golf club lift, well, it's hard for you to shallow the golf club. You're never going to be able to make the club go from this track to this one on the downswing without doing some early extensions or the hands trailing away from your body. And so the how-to, let's go back to the how-to on that, is to say, hey, from here, from your pivot back, I call that again, the left arm feels more across your chest. This is very connected to your body, and the left arm starts to look more like your shoulder plane across your chest. And from this position, you're, you're centered, you're balanced, and now this is the downward and outward path that the club takes. And this puts you into a very good position to release out of your posture. Great drills, ways to do this. You can actually swing, hold, and then make contact. Just hit through a golf ball from there. I also think you can start to bridge that in with less gaps between it and hit some small shots where you're just working on the pivot and the release out of posture. And the important part is that you can hold out of posture the club in your hands in this vertical release.